Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So a few weeks ago, I damn nearly passed out when I realized that Zena had absolutely no interest in food whatsoever. Now this was really a cause for concern because Zena is always, always eating. She never refuses food no matter how mm -mm. full she is mm -mm. and you cannot. You can not sit down with a plate of food and eat in peace without hearing her beg. I mean, she begs and beg and beg. <laughs> Me say you na get none. Poo beggy beggy. No. No. Me say. Me say. What me say? Na na get none. Na na get none. Na na get. I mean, if she sees you heading into the kitchen, she's racing right behind you. And if you open the fridge, she's right there too. So when I saw that her appetite literally vanished overnight, I knew something was definitely wrong. And on top of that, the cat looked depressed. She got very thin, she wasn't willing to play, and her fur was unkept. And I'm telling you people, Zena is not the type to let herself go. I know cats always groom themselves, but trust me when I say Zena, you see Zena, Zena, she is very meticulous when it comes on to grooming her fur. She'll go on for hours grooming and even stop in the middle of anything that she's doing just to do touch-ups. So it, it was very obvious that she was sick and of course I went into panic and I started to overreact and Google didn't make it any easier for me either. So at that very moment my only ray of sunshine was the fact that she was still drinking her water and the Lord. Yep, I started to get real religious. I'm there praying and laying hands upon her and all of that holy stuff. But long story cut short. Turns out the poor cat was constipated. Yeah. So stick around to find out how I was able to fix this and for other useful tips throughout the video. Stay tuned. So intestinal obstruction in cats is any blockage within the cat's stomach or intestines and cats are very susceptible to it, especially younger cats. So there are cases where intestinal obstruction in cats is not life-threatening at all but it all depends on the age of the cat and the length of time you waited to take your cat to the vet and what exactly is causing the obstruction there will be cases where surgery is required to remove whatever it is that is causing the obstruction while there are also cases in which the cat will pass it out naturally Zena's case was not a severe one since in her case she ingested plant material so if your cat ingested wool paper rubber band their fur while grooming which is also which we also um, refer to as hairball or maybe a plant like Zena did then most likely these foreign objects will pass through the intestinal tract without any complication but it is still a good idea to see the vet as soon as you see the following symptoms
So Zena's vet did not prescribe any fancy medication. She only recommended pumpkin, which would aid in the entire passing out process of this foreign plant material that was inside of her. Now pumpkin is very high in fiber and antioxidants, which makes it really helpful in a cat's digestion as it regulates their bowels. And if your cat is refusing pumpkin, then you can add it to tuna or sardines or plain wet cat's food. So basically, the dietary fiber provided by the pumpkin absorbs stomach acid, excess water, and helps move any ingested fur or other material through the digestive tract of your cat. It's also a great source of vitamin E, A, and C for your cat, which helps to fight mites, eczema, fleas, and even obesity. These vitamins, especially vitamin A, will help to support the cat's immune system and night vision. Vitamin C for, from the pumpkin is also a powerful antibiotic and will help the cat to fight infections. As you guys realize, I didn't put a lot of water. I did not put a lot of water in the pan. That's because I don't want all the nutrients and all of that goodness, you know, to boil out. I'm trying to keep as much of it as possible. I'm trying to retain as much of the nutrients as possible. So basically, I'm not really like boiling it. It's more like, well, yeah, technically, but it's more like, um, I'm just giving it a little steam to soften it so that I'll be able to mash it if you get what I'm saying but yeah it's technically still boiling but I'm not I did not use a lot of water yeah <laughs> so yeah that's uh, that's just the aim just to just to soften it so that I'll be able to crush it make a nice puree it's not really I'm not really like boiling boiling because I'm trying to retain all of that nutrients, all the fiber and good stuff, you know. Okay. That's pumpkin. You wanna try that? I think she actually likes it, but she's not gonna eat it. She's not gonna eat it right now because it's hot. It wow, well, cool, Zena. <laughs> Zena, it needs to cool. Hold on. Oh my gosh, she's actually. Yo, my friend. It's hot, it's hot. Here, cool. Oh, cool. Let's try this. She's actually. I don't even have to mash it. You can't eat all of that, though. Zena. Zena, you can't. Come. See, I'll cool it. Zena. Zen. It's the same thing. See this one cool. That's hot. That's hot. That's why it's burning you. Stop. No. No. No, it needs to cool. Here. Have this. Have this. Have this. Have this. Wow, she's actually eating it. She wants the big piece. She wants the big piece. <laughs> Okay, here. Here. Here, okay, I didn't even have to try and disguise the pumpkin. I was going to disguise the pumpkin in the cat food and it's like I don't even have to do that do that because she doesn't mind eating the pumpkin raw. Uh, well, not raw, but like by itself. I give up. Try again.
You want tuna now? Okay. I'm gonna like do a little. I'm gonna like do some chef things right here now. She wants the tuna. Okay. Glad to know your appetite is back. You're going to man the tin cut you. <laughs> right? Hey, hey, stop. Ma mind the tin cut you. Zena, Z. Give me a chance to, to um, put the rest of the tuna in there. When you get cut, you know, kind of free of Okay, so I know the disclaimer. I told y'all not to take my remedies and stuff as professional advice since you know I'm not a vet because I'm not sure how your cat will respond to certain treatments. So use at your own discretion. But people, one thing is for sure that prayer with faith really works. I don't mean to get all religious, but I had no idea why Zena had no appetite. I don't know why she was losing weight and I was so scared. And I think one reason why we can get so startled in these situations is, you know, when we don't know why. We fear the unknown. We know something is wrong, but we don't know what it is. And we get super anxious and worried awaiting a diagnosis from the vet. But before I went to the vet, I started to pray about it. I was like, God, whatever type of disease or foreign material or whatever it may be that's inside of Zena that is causing her to not eat and is making her sick. I'm just asking you to cast it out for just cast it out of her for me. And I prayed and prayed and prayed. And guys, two days later, I saw the culprit. Here it is. <laughs> I was so happy because it saved me extra money, which I honestly did not have. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And remember to click that subscribe button, like and share this video. And do share below in the comment section if you have used any other natural remedies that have helped your cat's constipation. And have you tried pumpkin for your cat? Please share your experience. Thanks for watching.